Hey friends, I know it's unfortunate that we can't be together for the next two weeks, but I am excited because it's going to be an opportunity for everybody to heal and in order for the virus to stop spreading. So um, don't worry, it's just a way of everybody making sure everybody's healthy and not sick. Um, with that being said, um, the learning is not going to stop. And so we were almost finished with the one and only Ivan. So I'm going to read a few chapters in this video and then I'm going to upload a second video and you're just going to finish um, the book with the second video. So we left off um, on the chapter called Leaving. And right before that, we see Mac kind of goes into Ivan's cage and basically tells him that he's going to miss him. And so we kind of saw that Mac could be both good and bad at the same time. This chapter is called Leaving. Early in the morning, Maya arrives with many other humans. Some have white coats, some have rustling papers. They are hushed, busy, determined. Ruby enters her box first. I'm scared, Ivan. She calls from inside the box. I don't want to leave you. A part of me doesn't want her to leave either, but I know I can't tell her that. Think of all the amazing stories you can share with your new family, I say. Ruby falls silent. I'll tell them your elephant joke, she says after a long pause. The one about the refrigerator. I bet they'd like that. I clear my throat. And Stella. I'll remember everyone, Ruby says, especially you. Before I can say any more, they roll her cage out to a waiting truck. It's my turn. Bob is hiding in a corner behind my pole. The humans don't even notice him. While they're busy making sure my box is ready, Bob sneaks over. He licks my chin just in case there are any leftovers. You, I whisper, are the one and only Bob. I reach for not tag. She is a limp rag without her stuffing. Dribbles of paint cover her fur. I hold her out to Bob. He tilts his head confused. To help you sleep, I say. Bob takes her in his teeth and slips away. So here's a picture of Bob taking knot tag. Good boy. Good Ivan, good boy, Maya says. When I lumber into my box, I hear the clicker and am rewarded with a tiny marshmallow. When I'm settled, Maya gives me a sweet drink that tastes of mango and something bitter. My eyelids grow heavy. I want to see what happens next, but I am sleepy, so sleepy. I dream I'm with Tag and we're swinging from vines while Stella watches. The sun slices through the thick ceiling of trees and the breeze tastes like fruit. My moving. My eyes flutter open. The box is moving. I am in the grumbling belly of some great beast. I fall back asleep. I want you to pause right now and think to yourself, when a second pause, think to yourself when he says, I am in the grumbling belly of some great beast. And he says the box is moving. Where do you think he is right now? Pause and think to yourself. If you're thinking he's in a, in a car or in a truck, you're absolutely right. So it's, they're transporting him to the zoo. Awakening. I awake to glass and steel. It's a new cage, not unlike my old cage, except that it's much cleaner. Maya's here and other humans I recognize. Hey there, Ivan, Maya says. He's coming too, guys. He's waking up. I have three walls of glass. The fourth wall is a curtain of wooden slats strung together. This doesn't look like the zoo on TV. Where are the other animals? Where are the gorillas? Is this where Ruby ended up? In a cage just like her old cage, still alone? Is she cold? Is she hungry? Is she sad? If the, is there anyone to tell her stories when she can't get to sleep? Missing. I miss my old cozy cage. I miss my art, but most of all, I miss Bob. My belly's cold without him. Food. The food is fine here. No soda, though, or cotton candy. Not famous. I have no visitors here. No sticky-fingered children or weary parents. Only Maya and her humans come with their soothing voices and soft hands. I wonder if I've stopped being famous. Endless days pass, and then I notice something, a change. I don't know what it is, but I taste it in the air like far off rain clouds gathering. 
Remember, as I'm reading, you can always pause it, and if you hear a simile or a metaphor, jot it down in your reader's workshop notebook, your blue one that we sent home. A new TV. Maya brings me a TV. It is bigger than my old one. She turns it on. I think you're gonna like this show, she says, smiling. I'm hoping for a romance or maybe a Western, but it's a nature show, one without human voices or ads. It's a show about gorillas being gorillas. I watch them eat and groom and play fight. I even watch them sleep. I wonder why Mac never put this on a channel. The family. Every day I watch the gorillas on the TV screen. It's a small family and an, and an odd one, just three females and a juvenile male. Without a silverback to protect them, they groom each other and eat and sleep, then groom each other some more. They are a happy group, placid and good-natured, although like any family, they bicker from time to time. This morning, for some reason, there is no gorilla show on TV. Maya and other humans are excited. They chirp like birds at dawn. Today's the day, they say. I've watched many humans watch me, but never have they looked so happy. Maya goes to the wall of wood and slats. She grins goofily. She pulls a string. What I see, gorillas. Three females and a juvenile male. It's the family I've been watching on the TV. But they're not on a TV screen anymore. They're on the other side of the glass, watching me, watching them. I see me, lots of me. I cover my eyes. I look again. They're still there. Watching. Every day I watch them through my window, the way my visitors used to watch me. See how they chase, groom? See how they play? See how they sleep? See how they live? They're graceful the way Stella was, moving just enough, only as much as they need. They stare at me, heads tilted, pointing and hooting, and I wonder, are they as fascinated by me as I am by them? So I'm gonna pause it here so the video doesn't go too long, but in the next video, you're gonna find one and only Ivan part two. You're gonna finish the chapter book with me, so I'm so excited because it's, it's my favorite. Remember, this is like one of my favorites, okay? So see you in the next video.